Here we are in tutorial 7 for Galactic Mail's tutorials using Game Maker Studio 2. Today we're going to be looking at creating the end game. So, so far we want to, um, in our progress towards the learning goal of understanding how to make objects travel in space in a specific direction, um, wrap around the screen and interact with other objects with a multi within a multi-level game, we have learnt the skills that we have highlighted here in the green. And we have um, ticked off all these specifications so far. We've made a spaceship and we've made uh, all the specifications for the moon and asteroids. Um, it plays with that error that we did that with the, um, with the sprite clipping or the collision masking last time. And we've done a little bit of the aesthetics. Now, this particular video, what we're going to cover in this video, isn't actually initially providing the specification this is an adjust a, an adjustment we're going to make from the original specification because i've noticed that you get to the end of the game and when you play the end of the game when your asteroid your ship crashes an asteroid you the score resets you have no idea what your score is so um, in all good design processes your initial specifications can be adjusted as it goes along so we're going to make an adjustment and we need to put a end of game process here where the player can actually see what their score is so that's what this particular video is going to be about so like I explained in the little introduction there we've got a problem with our game in that when it plays if I fly and I get points I've got my score here, but as soon as I crash into an asteroid, my game resets, I don't know what my score is. So, we want to put a little process at the end here, which allows me to see what my score is when the game finishes off. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to um, create a, a new object and this is also going to be a different control object because it doesn't actually have a sprite but it's not a usual control object it's a different one okay so let's go into here and I'm going to go objects right mouse click create object and I'm going to call this one OBJ and call it end of game Don't need a sprite for it. Okay, it's all fine. Now I want to bring in a draw event. So it's going to when when it's every draw at refresh here. Every time that the screen refreshes and draw, this event's going to run. And what we need to do is we need to set our font. So I've got our font on there. Yes. Font here it is. Set font. And our font, we're going to use the same font that we had before. I'm just going to use the font score. Okay, and I need to set the draw color, color white. We do it each time because you never know whether you might change the color at a different time. So we always put it in just to make sure that you get the color that you want. We also need to add in our text alignment, and that is going to be aligned into the center. Right out. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually get when the score finishes, we need to get the value of the final score. Right now, so to do that, I need to let's do a search for score here, and I need to use the get score value. So I'm going to have get score, and I say, Where do you want to put that score? So I'm going to get the score from the um, control object because that's where our score lives get the score from the control object and I'm going to add the score and I'm going to create a variable called end score and it's just going to be temporary I'm just going to use it for this instance I don't need to don't need to use it um, more often so I've done that I now need to I said it's temporary because I need to use it outside of this particular object so so now that's actually being saved into um, a variable called that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to actually draw this um, this value because the value is now in a variable called end score. So let's go down to our drawing, and this time I want to draw a value. So let's draw him, and the caption is going to read score. 
So the caption is going to read up here. Thank you. Score. Score. Space there. And the value that I actually want to put there is end underscore score because he's that one who's up there. Now, where I want this to be located, I want this to be located in the middle of the screen, but I also want to put another line underneath it which says press in, press in your key to try again. So, what we're going to do is, if you remember our room, we had room um, underscore width, and we can divide him by two, and they'll give me smack bang in the middle of the room, which I'm happy with. I can do the same with the room height. Room height divided by two. But I also then want to minus 20, because I want this line to be slightly above halfway, because I've got another line which is going to go underneath it. Radio. So I am now going to draw the second value in here and the second value is just going to have a caption in it and the caption is going to be press any key to try again. Radio. Don't have to worry about putting that value up and um, I'm going to say room width because we've got about We'll put this in the middle and then room height divided by two, and then I'm going to add 20 so it's below the halfway line. So let's have a look. Okay, so now that we've done that, we then also need to add in the event of a key press and it's just going to be any key because we should say press any key. Oops, and let's try it again. A key press, any key, and when they key press the any key, it's just going to restart the game. So let's roll out and find. Let's restart room, restart the game. Okay, so that should happen. Now we need this to actually occur. So the object it exists. It resides there, but basically we want to replace where the game was restarting and we want to instead want this object to be created. So that was happening in the object of the explosion. So at the end of explosion it says animation end, which says restart game. We actually don't want it to restart game. We want it instead to change into or create an instance of, create an instance of the object, object and game, radio. The layer it wants to go on is explosion. Okay, and we want it to be. Um, not to worry about where it is located because we've got the x and y components in the drawing. So create an instance, in there. and when it does that, we also then want it to destroy the instance of itself. Hmm. Okay, let's see if that works. So come into here. Uh, let's try hitting an asteroid. Yep, it's appeared, it's come up there. Press enter, game restarts. And a smacko. So in creating our end of game scenario here, you learned the new actions of get score and how to draw a value.